the end of days. The first sign shall appear in the heavens. Justice shall fall upon the world of men. The armies of light and shadow will clash across the fields of eternity. Should be getting you home. But there's still work to be done. If these translations are correct, <coughs> the powers of hell could already be on the move. The world must be told of the coming darkness. You do believe me, don't you, Leah? It has begun. Leave it, Uncle. It's not important. I was 
special. A prodigy of vast potential. I came to the Ishari Sanctum, seeking what knowledge I could glean from the Masters. But I found them fearful of the truth. I would learn nothing from them. But the old books, the prophecies they contained, showed me all that might come to pass, and all that I might become. Then, a star fell from the heavens, a sign that my moment had come. I will go west to Tristram, Stop the darkness that the star portends and fulfill the destiny that beckons me. I wander to places beyond imaginings, far from the jungles of my youth. My knowledge has grown vast. The people, they think me banished, shunned to the end of my days. They say I defy the spirits, but I say no. I follow them. The spirits show me alone that the skyfire is where the end begins. They say this must not be. I live to serve the spirits. So I go. There is none but me to answer the call. in all things and everywhere I see signs of change the wind bears an unnatural chill and my people grow uneasy now fire burns the sky and scorches the vault of the heavens I must carry out the will of the Patriarchs. When they need to see, I am their eyes. Where they wish to strike, I am their fist. When they would ignite the light of truth, I am their torch. They have sent me to where the heavenly fire has fallen. My mind is clear. I will rid Tristram of the shambling corpses that have risen in the fire's wake. At twelve, I swore the oath, leaving home and family. At 16, I saw my master die. I took up his shield and his name, and on that day, I became a crusader. Armored by faith, driven by duty, bound to kill the enemies of Zakarum. Sworn to live as a crusader and to die as one. Now, corruption returns to the hearts of men. I see it in the eyes of the mad. Hear it in the howling of the damned. A falling star in the west leads me to the town of New Tristram. The crusade calls me. And so, I go. I promised Leah that I would save her uncle, Deckard Cain. 
when I found him, he was facing the Skeleton King. And now this abomination blocks my path to the Fallen Star. I have journeyed far to find that the Fallen Star was only a man. Who is he? And why has he come? He remembers nothing. Perhaps Cain can tell us what the stranger cannot. Deckard Cain is dead, but he died revealing the truth. The stranger is an angel. I must return his sword to him at all costs. forbids us from interfering with the mortal world. Yet you have done so brazenly. All I am guilty of, Imperius, is bringing justice while you hide, cowering behind your throne. Silence! You will now answer for your transgressions. Judge me. I am justice itself. We were meant for more than this. To protect the innocent. But if our precious laws bind you all to inaction, then I will no longer stand as your brother. Tristram is safe. I travel to Chaldeum, the great city of the East. It has fallen before one of the last lords of hell, Belial. I mean to set the city free.
Even as she drew her last breath, Magda swore that her master, the demon lord Belial, would rule our world. That will not come to pass while I still live. rescued Leah's mother, Adria. She told us about the Black Soul Stone, an artifact that could banish evil forever. I must find it. I can feel dark power emanating from the Soul Stone, but it will hold Belial once I have dragged him from the shadows and revealed his lies. Caldeum will be free. Strike at us from the heart of Ariad Crater. 
Bastion's Keep is all that stands between us and certain doom. I will not allow it to fall. I have saved Bastion's Keep. It is time to leave the confines of the Keep and take the fight to Asmodan's war machines upon the open fields. We have destroyed the Demon Gate, though Asmodan brought Hell itself in his wake. Slaying the Sin Hearts will weaken his forces, and then only the Lord of Sin himself will be left. Betrayal is complete, and Leah's soul is lost. Through her, Diablo has been reborn as the prime evil. With all the powers of hell at his command, the high heavens tremble. The angels are helpless before Diablo's assault. Only I remain to set things right and vanquish Diablo's evil forever. Diablo sought to bring despair down upon heaven, but I have destroyed his champion and restored hope. I thought this would bring Tyriel back to his senses, but he remains lost. Nevertheless, I must push on and eradicate Diablo's hellish portals. Diablo means to corrupt the Crystal Arch atop the Silver Spire. 
If he succeeds, the high heavens will be lost forever. Tyriel and I go to face the Lord of Terror himself. In the end, it was a mortal heart that saved two worlds from ruin and cast down the prime evil forever. here is finished and you should all
screams draw me to the city of Westmarch, where angels slaughter helpless people in the streets. Who sent these reapers? And why? I will learn the answers. But first, I will end this massacre and teach them to fear the crusade. I have vanquished Urzael and his reapers, giving the people of Westmarch their city back. Lorath and I go to the Blood Marsh to find Adria. She knows how to locate Malthil. She will tell me, and then she will pay in blood for her betrayal. Malthil's attempt to keep me from entering Pandemonium simply confirms that he is still unwilling to face me. Now I must cross this blighted wasteland, site of a thousand battles between angel and demon. The Angel of Death awaits me in the Pandemonium Fortress on the other side. He will not be waiting long. Nephilim. The Black Soul Stone journeys through the portal to Sanctuary. Even now it spreads death across your world. had done the impossible. By conquering death, he had redeemed the angels and saved all mankind. In that moment, with victory at hand, I saw the Nephilim in a new light. He is a hero who can defeat the champions of heaven and hell, and a barbarian who protects the innocent. But within him beats a mortal heart that will one day be tempted to corruption. On that day, will he have the strength to resist or will he be our doom? The Nephilim had done the impossible. By conquering death, she had redeemed the angels and saved all mankind. In that moment, with victory at hand, I saw the Nephilim in a new light. She is a hero who can defeat the champions of heaven and hell, and a crusader who protects the innocent, but within her beats a mortal heart that will one day be tempted to corruption. On that day, will she have the strength to resist, or will she be our doom? 